Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos again with a new video on using e-commerce with WordPress. So you want to log back into your site. Remember we're using uh, WAMP as our hosting environment. So your website should be at localhost slash WordPress. And the front end is what we, the content that we added last time, we added a post in a couple of pages and that's how people see it now what we want to do is go to the back end and that's under slash WP slash admin so the great thing about WordPress is that it's expandable it has a lot of great tools built in and out of the box it's very powerful but people can improve it and add more uh, more content, more capabilities to WordPress via plugins. So you see here in the back end we have a section of plugins. If we click on plugins, we have two by default, something called Akismet and something called Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly is just sort of a uh, placeholder, so don't worry about that. But Akismet is cool. It's a way to prevent spam comments on your website. That'll be another topic. Uh, what we can do here is under plugins add new and we can search for a variety of types of plugins but the one we care about is an e-commerce product uh, an e-commerce plugin so this is called wp-e-commerce so this is the one I'm recommending for this course you should get the first result here. Make sure that you're getting it from Instinct Entertainment under the description here. And so you can read the details. Uh, it's a full featured, powerful plugin downloaded nearly 3 million times. So that's the one we're going to go for. I'm going to select to install now. So confirm. It's going to download this software, install it, and now we're going to add e-commerce capabilities to, to WordPress. You have to remember to click on Activate Plugin. And once you do, Once you select Activate Plugin, a variety of things are going to happen. Back in your plugin screen, you're going to see that there's a plugin, whichever one you installed, and it'll be active so you can either deactivate it or edit its code. Next, um, you have to kind of hunt around. Unless you read the documentation, you won't know where does the plugin install itself. Sometimes the plugin settings are simply under the plugins screen, and you'll see a button under the plugin it says settings this plugin does not have that sometimes you see a plugin appear on the left menu over here it gives its own category an example is a popular SEO plugin called Yoast it gives itself its own menu WE-commerce -E doesn't uh, do that the third place where a plugin could install is under the settings menu and that's where WP e-commerce installs itself. Under your settings menu, you have a brand new category of store. If you click that, you have then a whole bunch of settings, which we'll get to in a future video. Well, what did this plugin actually do? I'm going to go back to the front end, refresh, and now our site has about us contact us products page under products page we've got checkout transaction results and your account click on products page we don't have any products yet but now we have the capability to start adding products to our website be it virtual or physical products or services so in our next video we'll look more in depth at what we WP e-commerce offers.